Good morning on this Labor Day, as we call it, as we celebrate and recognize all of those who work so hard to do so much good in the world. Uh, today we look at Psalm 139 through 142. Uh, Psalm 139 is, uh, you know, God, you know who I am. You know, I mean, Lord, you search me and know me. You know, when I sit down, when I rise up, you know my thoughts, you search my path. My lying down, you're acquainted with all my ways, you know, and it's just, you know, the, the psalmist is saying, you you know who I am, and and we admit that as well, that God knows who we are. He knows what's in our minds. He knows what's in our hearts, and so the psalmist is saying, you know, you know who I am, and then verse 7, where can I go to hide from you? I mean, I can't. You, you know where I am. You know, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee you know, if I send to heaven, there you are. If I de descend to Sheol, there you are. And, and it doesn't make any difference, you know, where we are, that, that God knows. And this is a part of, of our trust, our belief in God being all-knowing, being all-present in and, and everything that way. And then, um, starting in verse 13, it was you who formed my inward parts. You, you made us. You know us. You know how we function. You, you, you know all about us, Lord God. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You think about that, you know, even, I mean, you know, I'm not real old, uh, but, but I'm old enough to know that my body is, is not in its prime anymore. And, and that doesn't make too much difference. I mean, whether it's in its prime or, or, or not. Because our, our bodies are just, you know, wonderfully made. Yeah, and I, I often just I mean, in awe of how these, these, you know, this little sperm and egg come together. And some know how to be ears and eyes. And I mean, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, our, our, we have, you know, feet and, and, and eyes and ears and hands. And I mean, you, you think of not just for humanity, but for all of the... All of the animals, the fishes, the birds, you know, and everything, you know, the, the, it's just amazing how our bodies function. We are wonderfully made. And, you know, it's, you know, um, my frame was not hidden from you. I was being made in secret, intricately woven, you know, and, and this is, you know, as we, as we grow within the mother's womb, I mean, it's just awesome to think about. You know, I beheld my unformed substance. You know, you knew me before I was born. You know, and and then verse eight, you know, or seventeen and eighteen. How weighty are your thoughts? If I were to try to count them, you know, I mean, we couldn't do that. You know, and and then the last verse of last part of eighteen. I come to the end, and I am still with you. And and the, and the best part, God is still with us. You know, and. Um, and so then, then this last part of the psalm is, oh, that you would kill the wicked, that you would get the wicked out, that you would let the wicked receive what they should have, you know, and, uh, your enemies are my enemies, kind of, I mean, I'm on, I'm on the same side, I want to be, I want to be on the same side as you are, Lord God, and then again, search me and know my heart, test me and know my thoughts, if there is any wicked within me, Lead me to the way of everlasting, you know. If there's any wicked within me, Lord God, take it out and, and get it separated from me that way so that I might, you know, lead me in the way of everlasting life that way. Uh, Psalm 40 is, again, deliver me, O Lord, you know, and, and it's so often we see that, you know, we're needing help and coming to God and asking for his, his deliverance from whatever's going on in our lives, you know, and and often these Psalms of David were, you know, deliverance. I mean, he was being pursued by Saul. He was, he had other kings and other nations attacking him and coming against him. And, but his faith was confident, you know, protect me from those who are evildoers, who plan evil things in their mind. And in verse four, guard me, O God, from the hand of the wicked, protect me from the violent, you know, and, and it's, you know, it's kind of, you know, when he was hiding in that cave, when Saul was pursuing him, and, and then here Saul comes into the cave as well, you know, that had to have been quite a, a, a shock, you know, for, for King David that way, and, 
But yet, you know, he cried out to God for help. And, and you know, I say to the Lord, you are my God. Give ear to the voice of my prayers. Oh, Lord, my strong deliverer. You know, it's just that ultimate faith that, that David had in God being with him and for him. Psalm 141, I call to you, Lord, come quickly, give ear to your voice. And then verse 2, um, you know, it's let my prayer rise up before you, uh, lifting up of my hands as a sacrifice to you. And it's, this is a verse that uh, one of the songs in the holding, holding evening prayer service comes from, you know. Let my prayers rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands. And, you know, it's just, you know, the, and so when I read this earlier, then, I mean, that song's been in my mind. You can tell that, you know, but it's, but so often, you know, I mean, the Psalms were sung and we sing parts of the Psalms in our liturgies, you know, and, and I commented on that yesterday at worship, you know, and, and so we know these verses and, and, and it's, you know, the, the Israelites knew these psalms because they were their songs. They would, they would sing them. They would recite them. They would pray them and, and, and come to God with them. And, and so, you know, let my prayers rise up like incense before you. You know, the, the smoke from the incense, the, 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 the scent of the incense, you know, rises up. And I, when I think about incense too, I remember when, when I was young and my two older sisters, Beth and Joan, you know, we got this little incense pot, you know, just, you know, and they, you, you could, you could buy this incense and, and, you know, it was smelly stuff and, you know, some of it was okay and some of it wasn't okay. But, uh, but I remember that was little incense burners and, and, you know, it's some of those memories that come back up, you know, in different ways. And so not only the memory of the, of the song, you know, let my prayer rise up like incense before you, but but the actual physical smell of the incense and the and the the vision of the smoke rising up from this little incense pot. They weren't very big things, you know, and and you know now they've got diffusers, you know, and scent diffusers, and I'm not sure what they call them all, but you can still buy scented things to. Uh, have in your home, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a deal you can plug into your wall even, you know, that, that gives you a, a, a scent in your house, like the incense rising up before God. And, you know, and it just, I wonder, do people really think about that when they have these, you know, these scent diffusers in their house or anything like that? But, you know, it, it, it would be, it would be interesting, I think, to, to have that, image for all people that, you know, when they, when they use those, that, that, you know, that, that scent is like their prayers rising up to God. And it is just, it's such a visual image to me that, you know, when we pray, you know, it's just a, it's a thought in our head or a, a word that comes out of our mouth, but it, it's rising up to God. It's going up to God to be heard and, you know, by God. Verse 8 of Psalm 141, My eyes are turned toward you, O Lord my God. In you I seek my refuge. Do not leave me defenseless. Again, so, you know, I look to you for help. Don't leave me defenseless. You know, be with me, guide me, lead me. And the last verse, Let the wicked fall into their own trap. And, you know, the, you know, and it's like the snares of the fowler, you know, you get caught in that. You know, but, but for these people that were setting traps for King David or, you know, they were out to get him, um, you know, let them be caught in their own trap. And, and we have people, you know, today that, you know, set those traps for other people. And, um, it's, it's always nice to have karma show up that way. The last Psalm we look at briefly today is Psalm 142. Uh, with my voice, I cry to the Lord. With my voice, I, I cry to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell him my trouble. You know, when my spirit is faint, you know my way. And again, it's kind of, you know, like Psalm 139. You know me. You know who I'm made. You know my thoughts. You know my, you know my hopes, my dreams, my fears. You know who I am, Lord God. I, verse 5, I cry out to you. You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. 
You know, give heed to my cry for I am brought low. You know, this person is lost and alone feeling and, you know, whatever is going on, but crying out to God, knowing that, that God is there. The last verse again of, of that psalm, bring me out of prison so that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous will surround me for you deal bountifully with me. You know, God is, God is there for us, blessing us with, with so much every day. And, and, um, you know, sometimes we, f we forget about those blessings. Um, and, and it's just, you know, it's count your many blessings, count them one by one, and, and just to rejoice in the beauty of, of creation, the beauty of life, um, the joys, the joys of family. And I know that there are sorrows, there are sad times and everything that way too, but, you know, the blessings we have, uh, I really truly believe that our blessings outweigh the, the issues, the problems, the conflicts that we may have in our lives. And, and to live as a person who realizes the blessings we have is so much more fun to live in our blessings.